When my boys were younger, they were playing a lot of video games, as most kids do. And at some point, I thought, you know, it'd be better if you guys were making games instead of just playing them. Spark Programming is a nonprofit organization. Our mission is to inspire the next generation of programmers. And to do that, we have them learn to code by creating games, by making it a fun, interactive, engaging experience using Scratch, which is MIT's online IDE, which is graphical, and kids can make their own games pretty easily. The students had six weeks to create a project. So we had a session here uh, six weeks ago where we helped them create the base platform of the game. They went off for six weeks, created it, came back today, and had eight minutes to present that to a panel of volunteer judges. During that presentation, they needed to demonstrate the game, how it worked, and which of the challenges they were able to complete. They were also judged and provided feedback on how they presented themselves. I think this is definitely opening a lot of doors because I've gotten a lot of experience with kind of the way it works and how you do it, work as a team to program. In the hackathon, the students have 45 minutes to code as many challenges as they can. So this is an exercise in prioritization. Which of these 20 challenges should I build? How many points are they worth? How long will it take to build it? What's really awesome about seeing these kids uh, doing these programming classes is seeing them learn, seeing that thing click in their mind about how these blocks work together and how you make a game and the big picture of what programming is all about. There's a huge gap right now in industry between the number of openings in computer science and software engineering versus the number of students that are graduating with degrees and being able to go into the workforce prepared to do those things. It's really nice to see such young students learning how to code. I know that I learned how to program from a book that I got in the library. There's a large opportunity for kids today who are increasingly spending more time online, spending more time consuming media to be able to think about how that media is created. One of our missions here at uh, Spark Programming and together with ServiceNow is to help students connect with those resources. ServiceNow has been a great partner for us to work with, uh, with the programs for kids by providing fantastic facilities. ServiceNow has donated old equipment, the laptops that we were able to provide. Uh, we'd love to continue to grow this program, so we're giving away uh, things like scholarships. So we're in conversations with some organizations here in San Diego that uh, may be able to provide uh, scholarships for some of these students in the future. Get out there and just try it out. See what it's like, and I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed.